All right, hey, this is John from Draco Broadcast, and today we are talking about the uh, MagicQ Studio teleprompter, specifically how to get up and running with the MagicQ software for Windows. So here what we're looking at is a Windows uh, desktop. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to our MagicQ software right here and double-click it to launch our MagicQ teleprompter software. All right, so here we go. So this uh, window is going to show up here, and it's going to have a lot of different stuff going on. We're just going to go over it really quick. Here is your your main script, and it loads up a default script that says, you know, MagicQ is a brand new line of teleprompters and etc. Over to the left here is all of your operator controls. So you've got a series of buttons here, from uh, your start prompting button to invert scroll direction. You've got all sorts of uh, ways to import and then edit and customize your text that's in your window. And uh, down here you have different settings for things like line spacing, if you want to space out your lines a little bit differently, or increase the size of your text. So you know maybe your talent is reading from further away. So use these sliders to go ahead and uh, bring your text to a comfortable uh, reading size and set that up. If you want to, you can go ahead and invert your background to uh, make the text black on white background. And um, here you're going to find options for adjusting your eye line. Your eye line is this little triangle right here. You can set this to the height of your lens um, behind the prompter glass. The reason that's important is because you want your talent looking directly into the camera lens, not just above or just below it. So wherever your camera lens is at behind the glass, make sure that you set your eye line height to, uh, to the lens height. And then once that's set, you can go ahead and change like the opacity um, to make it not see-through, or you can bring it really, really far down and make it very transparent. Um, you can put it on the other side of the prompter window, or you can have it on both sides. Uh, either way you want to go, you've got several different options there. Next, what we're going to go ahead and do is click this third blue button right down here. It's called the Show Talent Window button. We're going to open that up, and what you see here is we get now a second MagicQ window, right? And the way that this works is this window is essentially a clone of your operator window. So here's your operator window, and then this is your talent window. The only real difference is that there is no operator controls on your talent window, as you can, as you can see. But it is the exact same as your, as your operator window. Now, the talent window is going to live inside your prompter, and your operator window here is going to stay on your desktop. Now, to do that, we need to make sure that we're properly set up to place the talent window inside of the prompter before we move it over. So to do that on a Windows machine, what we're going to do is right-click anywhere on our desktop, and we're going to go ahead and click Display Settings. This is Windows 10, by the way, so it might look a little bit different than the Windows OS that you're on, uh, but they all operate relatively the same way. Okay, so this is your display settings window, and it's going to show you two different monitors, um, two different displays, assuming that you've plugged in your prompter monitor to your computer, either via VGA or uh, HDMI. Um, if that is plugged in correctly and powered on, you're going to see a second, a second monitor here floating off to the right or left of your main monitor. Okay, if you don't see the second monitor and you are plugged in and turned on, is you're going to want to hit this button right here that says detect. And uh, if it doesn't see the second monitor, it's going to refresh and it should pop up there. The next thing you're going to want to do is click this button that says identify. And what that's going to do is show you which monitor is assigned to number one as your main display and which one is assigned to number two as your prompter display. So if you click that, you're going to see this number one over here. And on your prompter, you should see a number two show up in the corner as well. Okay. So now that we're all set up there, uh, you may have one more thing uh, that you need to adjust. You may not. Uh, some users uh, may notice that their display is upside down, displaying upside down uh, on the glass. Now, there's two different ways of, of adjusting that. One would be to unscrew the monitor from the rail slide on the prompter itself and physically turn the monitor around and reattach it uh, so that it displays correctly, or uh, 
what you can do is go over to this orientation right here that says landscape. Now what you can do is click that drop down menu and go to landscape uh, flipped. And what landscape flipped is going to do is rotate your screen over um, 180 degrees. So it will, it will flip your screen over. Uh, I'm not going to click apply here simply because our monitor is displaying properly. So we're going to leave that at landscape. But in the case of a flipped monitor that needs to be turned over so that you're not upside down, you're going to want to choose landscape flipped and click apply. Uh, the next thing on this display settings is your multiple displays uh, drop down menu. Now this one's important, right? So when you open this up, you need to make sure that you have extend these displays selected. And the reason for that is the other option that you might be using is duplicate these displays. And that's not going to work for us because we need two separate displays happening here, not one that's just duplicated or mirrored. We want to have two different displays, one that's showing our operator window and one that's showing our talent window. So make sure that extend these displays is selected. And if it wasn't, you're going to go ahead and select all your, all your settings here and then click apply. Right? And it's going to make the changes. It's going to ask you if you want to keep your settings. You're going to click yes. And then once this is all set up, just like this, um, you, know, you have your main window on number one and your prompter on number two. The displays are extended. The orientation is arranged properly and everything. Then we're going to go ahead and close out of this window. OK, back to our operator window and our talent window. Now it's time to move our talent window over into our prompter. Now, if you remember from our display setting window, we had our number one and then our number two was just to the right of it. That means that virtually speaking, our prompter is just over to the right of our monitor over here. So to get our talent window over there, we're going to take our talent window over to the edge and jump over off the screen into our monitor. Now you can see that the talent window is now coming over into our prompter. Now, the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and position this talent window inside of the prompter and size it correctly to fit the screen. Now, the easiest way to do that is going to be to drag this talent window up and into the upper right corner of our prompter monitor, just like that. Once you're set up in the upper right hand corner, we're going to go ahead and let that go. All right, now that the talent window is properly positioned over in the prompter, the next thing we're going to do is resize the talent window. And to do that, what we're going to do is come back over and resize the operator window by clicking and dragging the lower right hand corner of the screen. And you see the cursor has changed to a window resize cursor. And the reason we do that on the operator window is because the talent window will resize with the operator window. And that's to ensure that the talent and the operator always see the same script. So what we're going to do is click and drag. And what you'll notice is the size of the talent window will change as we change the size of the operator window. So once we get a size that we're happy with, that we're comfortable with here, we are going to go ahead and let that go. OK, now that our talent window is sized properly, uh, the next thing we're going to do is get rid of that pesky taskbar at the bottom of our window screen, because we probably don't want that there. So to do that, on our main monitor, we're going to go ahead and right click on the taskbar at the bottom, just anywhere. Go ahead and click Properties, and it's going to bring up this uh, box that says Taskbar and Start Menu Properties. We're going to click this second one down that says Auto Hide the Taskbar and click Apply. And then we're going to click OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to get that taskbar out of the way. Um, unless you go ahead and mouse down over it, then it will pop back up. But it will go ahead and tuck itself away when you're done with it. So that takes care of that. And the next thing that you probably already noticed here is that the text is backwards on that mirror. So to take care of that, we're going to go over to our operator window right here. And we're going to find this checkbox called Mirror Talent Window. And it's right below our three blue buttons here. And we're going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to reload our script mirrored so that it reads properly. 
Okay, so now we are almost ready to start prompting here. Uh, we've got our talent window sized correctly to our prompter. We've got the text reading properly. Everything's cleared out of the display that doesn't need to be there. And the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and click this button up here called Start Prompting. Once that happens, we'll see the operator window change, right? So most of our controls have disappeared here, uh, all of our settings controls, and what you see down in the lower left is now a timer. So once we go ahead and use either our arrow keys or our scroll wheel to start scrolling through our script and start prompting, that timer is gonna start changing. It's gonna show you two counters. One's gonna have your elapsed time, and one will be an estimated time of um, how long it's going to take your reader to read the whole script at that speed. So that's really useful because if you're trying to make a five minute video or a 10 minute video, you can use you can use that tool to get your pacing down of how fast you want your talent to read the script. All right, so let's go ahead and click stop prompting. Okay, once we click stop prompting, the first thing you probably noticed is that the talent window has unmirrored itself. And that's okay, anytime you click stop prompting, that's gonna happen. Anytime you reset the script, that talent window will go back to its original setting. So next time you wanna start a new prompting session, just go ahead and mirror the talent window again. And once that loads up, you'll be ready to start prompting uh, your next script. And just like that, you are ready to go ahead and click the Start Prompting button again. And you can go right ahead and start prompting your script. All right, so that's it. That covers uh, most everything for getting up and running with the MagicQ software uh, on a Windows computer. If there's anything that we didn't cover in this video or if there's any other questions that you might have, go ahead and give us a call at the office here. We're at 408-229-9222, and we'd be happy to help. My name's John, and thanks for watching today.